If you picked up this week's issue of The Independent, then you know who won this year's Indie Music Awards. Hi everybody, I'm Jack Ward with The Independent. We're gearing up for next week's music festival, which is going to be gigantic. This is one party you're not going to want to miss. It takes place at Stargazers Theater and Events Center, and everything gets started at 6 o'clock next Thursday. We've got three stages, incredible amounts of music, with 22 local artists that are going to be performing live. It's local, and it's voted on by you, and it's totally free. There's beer gardens, food trucks, and vendors for you to take part of, and it's going to be a great, great time for everyone. We've got a whole lot more going on even this weekend, so let's get right to that. Here's your Indie Minute. Cracker, the indie rock godfathers celebrate two decades of droll devotion this Sunday, 8 p.m. at the Silver Tongue Devil Saloon in Green Mountain Falls. All ages can enjoy the fusion of all the country with punk rock underpinnings for just $20. Goka's latest groundbreaking art exhibit, Rain Machine, opens this Thursday. Rain Machine will fill the 2,800 square foot gallery of contemporary art at the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs through December 7th. And if you were one of the almost 2,000 people that attended last year's inaugural Indie Music Awards, then you know this is a one-night event not to miss. 22 local artists performing all night long for free on three stages with food trucks and music vendors to explore. This is going to be one rockin' night. That's your Indie Minute. Remember to pick up The Independent every Wednesday and vote for the best of Colorado Springs before midnight this Friday, August 31st. It's available all around town or online at csindy.com.